I'm Annabelle and welcome to Meeple Village. Today we're going to be playing Viscounts of the West Kingdom. Now this is a Euro game that combines deck building with action points. There's a lot going on in this game and today I'm going to show you a solo run through. So why don't you just join me at the table and let's play Viscounts of the West Kingdom. I have the game almost ready to start. It's almost all set up. I wanted to leave some stuff for you guys to see if you're playing against a AI opponent, what needs to be done in order to get started, how to get the starting resources and all of that. But let me show you then what I've got right here. First of all, here's the board. And remember, this is a modular board. So uh, this could be in a different setup. Randomly, it came out like this with this setup. You can see the numbers are not in order, seven, eight, three, four, etc. The castle also it goes in a random, uh, looking at a random, it could be north, south, west, it just happened to end up like that. We will see. Uh, here's the people that we can hire or dismiss throughout the game and also uh, obviously put them in our decks to make our decks stronger and the manuscripts that uh, we can acquire throughout the game. In the game, there's a few ways to earn points. One is through manuscripts. The other one is through building buildings. We can also uh, exercise strength in the castle, which will give us points. And the last thing is through the deeds and, and the debts. Actually, the deeds and the debts. You're gonna see all of that happening in the game, so don't worry about it if you're confused now. It will all become clear. Now let's go to the game player board. So my player board is set up just like if I was playing with two or more players. I got all my buildings up here, my structures ready to be built, covering the special powers that they provide. And as I build, you will see that happening. I start here with no criminal activity and no virtue. Uh, but as these, as the game goes on, we are going to be moving these. And here's my deck starts with, you know, the cards that pretty much everybody starts with. They are in my color. I am the yellow player. That's why the cards are going to be yellow. And let's talk about the AI. Now he has no name, so I'm gonna just, just call him Smeagol to make it easier. Uh, and so you guys know who I'm talking about. And he starts with the buildings, uh, with the structures on his mat as well. Now his buildings are in a different uh, position. Uh, if you can tell, the big ones are on the left. M my big ones are in the middle. You'll see that uh, how that affects gameplay in a minute. Uh, also, no criminal activity, no virtue, and um, he has his uh, starting scheme cards and his future scheme cards right here. We have to do a couple things, so I haven't finished putting those together yet. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use these cards. So, and also this is his reference card because there are some abilities, some, some things that happen in the game that he doesn't care about. So if those things happen to him, we look at this chart to then figure out what he wants to do with those. So uh, just like in a regular uh, game, we are going to use our starting cards. If in a regular game, it's two, uh, it's one plus a number of players. So in a two player game, we would be putting out two. Because there's only two players effectively in this game, then we're all gonna, only gonna have uh, two cards. One for me, one for him. So we'll put two random. And just like in the regular game, we are going to get two of these heroes this was, oops, we don't need that. We're going to go ahead and give this one a shuffle. These are all the hero cards and you can tell because they're all brown uh, colored in the middle as opposed to these guys that are gray. So shuffle those and deal two. Okay, and that's what we got. These are out of the game. Now we have, I make a choice first and whichever one I don't pick, that's where the Smeagol is gonna start. So I can get Clovis, which gives me a criminal icon, which is great because he's kind of uh, a uh, wild card. Or I can get this guy, which is going to give me a bunch of resources to start. Now, as far as starting resources, Clovis gives me a building. I, I think Clovis, you're my man. I'm going to go with him. So I'm going to take Clovis and um, he, he just goes on my deck. I'm going to shuffle in a minute. And then these are my starting resources. I start on number eight. So I just look around and I find eight, where are you, eight? Eight is right here, so that's where I'm gonna start. I get a resource of my choosing. Now, I'm since I start with the building, and also since I know this guy likes building, I'm gonna try and compete for that. I don't want him to just build and I stay behind. 
and I already start with the building. I know I'm going to place it later on uh, when I when I complete all these things. So I'm going to start with the stone because stone is good for building. I'll just put it right here. Okay. Then I get a dollar, not a lot of money for sure. And then I get a deed and a debt, and I'll just put those. Oops, down here. Okay, and they are on their worst side. So I get one victory point, but if I get to flip it, I will switch that to three victory points. And I start with a debt of minus two. So I will lose two points at the end of the game if I don't pay this debt. But if I pay for it, then I get a resource of my choice. And you'll see that later. I'm just gonna keep those here, uh, maybe like that so I know. Actually, I can't keep them there. Let me keep them over here. Okay, and like I said, I start with the building. It's this one, and let me see. When I build, whichever one I build, I'm gonna get a special power for the rest of the game. So what I wanna do. I know that I like to, at the beginning of the game, start trading so I can get a lot of resources and then use those resources to do whatever I need to do. So I'm thinking I'm gonna start with this building. I have to put it where my Viscount is. He's right here. So if, uh, and I have to look at the, at the river. So I can only build on these because that's where the river is. These two I cannot place my building on. So if I do this, I will immediately flip one of my uh, deeds or debts, and if I go here, I will get a gold. I think, because I'm interested in building, I don't know if I'm gonna have time with the gold, which, is, which helps me manipulate the castle, I'm going to go ahead and flip my first card, and I'm gonna flip my debt. That way I'm not uh, losing points, those two points at the end of the game, and it gives me a resource, so if I wanted to, I could get a gold, and I would've gotten a gold anyways. But like I said, I'm going to be focusing on building, guys. So. I am gonna get another a, a stone. And that's it for me. I'll put that out of the game. Now, he doesn't care about his hero. He is not gonna use a hero. Smeagol is anti-hero. He's just gonna go ahead and get all these resources. So he starts on number nine. So close to me, apparently. Oh no, he's not close to me because it's only seven and eight. Nine is actually all the way over here. So, so totally opposite from me. And he gets two stones. Actually, no, he doesn't. That's just where he's placed. That is not what he gets. What he gets at the beginning of the game is on his player mat. So he actually gets three stones. So let's give him three. Here you go, Mr. Smeagol. Three stones for you. And he also gets a gold, okay. And he gets a deed and a debt, just like me. So just put them here for you, mister. And that's it. Now, down here, it's telling me there are some cards in his deck that are going to be trashed. He's not gonna use them during the rest of the game. And because they're dark black colored, I know they're from the future scheme deck. So I'm gonna look for those. It's the one that has, actually is this one. See how it has the same symbol? Oh, and this one, perfect, they're right here. I'll shuffle the rest of them. And right there, these two get trashed out of the game no more. Let's also shuffle his main scheme uh, cards, which are the starting cards that he's going to be using. And also let's shuffle my deck. Everything else I think is set to go. Got our workers that we're going to be placing in the castle. Yeah, we are good to go. So join me and we'll go to gameplay. So in a solo game, I am the first player. That's why I have the first player marker. I'm going to start with three cards. So one, two, three, let's see what I get. So I know I want to build. I have two stones and I did get my builder. I would also like to trade. And if I look at my board down here, Right now I have a building icon and I have two trade icons. So it's gonna be between the builder and, or the trader for my first choice. Now, the builder has an ability when he leaves and he has no ability. But um, let's see. If I use him, I'll move two. And if I use him, I'll move two. So I'm gonna start trading. I'm gonna go ahead and put him down. And um, I know the problem is that when he moves next turn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be missing my building Icon, but we'll see how that goes. I just want to get more stone before I, I start building or you know, yeah, let's do that. So let's see how it goes. So he has no ability when he comes in, 
I'm going to go ahead and move my vie count two spots, which is perfect. One, two, because it stops right where I need it to stop at the stones. That's why I went for trade basically. So I count the icons, the trade icons that I have on my player mats. And because I started with that building guys, I have two, four, six. So with six, I get three stones to start with. Not a bad start. I'm already at five stones. So that means that um, next turn, uh, I could probably build one of my, at least my five point building, I'm hoping. Uh, so at, um, I moved, uh, I could have I dismissed him, but um, he's very expensive, <laughs> so that's why I didn't. And then I did my main action, now I can hire him, but I'm not too interested in um, the manuscripts. So I think I'm gonna leave him there. He's also very expensive and I only have a dollar. So even if I wanted to hire him, I couldn't. Uh, so there's that. And um, after that, there we check to see if there is a collision and there is no collision yet. And then I go back up to three cards. So I give myself one more card. And um, I got Clovis, which is, I love it. I love that I got Clovis. But uh, let's go to the AI, have his turn, and then we'll come back to me and make a decision as to which guy I'm gonna play next. So he is uh, kind of simple, uh, really. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get him a card. The top icon with the uh, brown, it's the icon that he, it's going to help him do his main action this turn. If he decides to build, he will be getting an extra icon for building. Next, there's nothing. Next, this means that wherever he's at, he's going to be dismissing that um, card that that man that's there that person so we'll see let's see where he's at he's here so the artist is going to be dismissed now he doesn't have to pay to dismiss he has no money but he does get the action of discarding um, now he doesn't like that action if you look at his reference card when he gets that action what he does instead is he gains a virtue so already he is more virtuous than me and this card just gets, uh, this goes out of the game. We're gonna have a lot of cards out of the game throughout the game. And um, that was because he did that. Now he's gonna move four and he always moves on the outside. He never goes in, like I have to go in if I wanna do certain actions, he doesn't. He just stays out here. One, two, three, four. And he's all the way over there. And then he wants to build this turn. But if he can't build, then he'll do the next action. But he would love to build this turn. So let's see if he can build. In order to build, you need at least three building icons because the cheapest building that you can build costs three. The second cheapest is five building icons. And then the most expensive one is seven. So does he have at least three? Well, he has one here and he has another one there. So that's two. And he does have stone. So with stone, and if you look at my player board, you can tell with stone, you can increase the icons that you have for building. So let's see, he always wants to build the most expensive one and the one on the left. So one, two, three, four, five. So he can actually build a five icon building. So the five icon buildings are right here and he always wants to build the one on the left first. So he is, and he is always going to build it on the left most. So let's go in order. First, he triggers that action. That action means that uh, immediately he gets a higher. Now, when he gets a higher, you can look at his reference card. He actually obviously doesn't pay, but uh, it gets trash. That's that little X. So it goes out of the game. We can never hire that guy again. And he gets to flip one thing. So he'll flip if he, he always wants to flip the things that he's flipped the least off. But at the beginning of the game, he hasn't flipped anything. So if he hasn't flipped anything, then uh, he goes for a debt first, just like I would do. So he's flipped his first debt. And when he does, he gets a resource. Now, in order for him to get a resource, we look at his player board and we see what is the resource that he likes the most. Of course, it's stone because he's into building. So he's going to get a stone. And then finally, we can place the building. Now, we always place it on the left most. So with this action, he's going to get a deed, a red deed card. So there it is, his second one, I'll just place it underneath. And that's another point for him. And basically that was, that was his, his action. He did a whole lot of things. And most importantly, he's taking spots from me to build. That's why I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna build, I have to be faster than him. Let's see, how, let's see who can be faster. Uh, and then um, after his action, 
Uh, there is, we check for a collision, there's no collision, so um, we, we can go ahead and he doesn't refill because he doesn't have a hand, so we can have my turn. So uh, what happens during my turn? The first thing I gotta do is I gotta pick a guy. Now let's take a look at what I got. Okay, so I know I wanna build, but uh, I only have one builder. If I use Clovis and I move three, where would that leave me? One, two, three, more stone. So I think I'm, my, my thought is I wanna use Clovis now and the next turn Clovis is gonna help me build. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick Clovis. Well, before I pick Clovis, everybody slides down and then Clovis comes right here. Uh, I moved everybody. Nobody came out. Now I added Clovis and Clovis is a criminal. And when you get a criminal, you move on the criminal activity pad right here uh, for as many icons, criminal icons as you have. I only have one criminal icon right now, so I move one. My criminal activity has increased already. The next thing I get to do is move. And like I said, I'm gonna move three. One, two, three. I've landed again in the place where I could trade for stone. So I'm building my stone empire so that then I can build, 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 build. And hopefully Smeagol doesn't get all the good spots. So again, I have two, three, four, because remember criminal is um, a wild. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that gives me four stone. Not bad. I think I'm ready to build uh, starting next turn. Okay, so I am full of stone and uh, I did my main action. Now I could hire him, but again, I'm not interested in, and I don't have any money, so we'll skip that. And after that, we check for a collision. There's no collision. And then I draw back up to three. I get the lender, which is more trading. And we go to Smeagol's turn. What is Smeagol gonna do this turn? Well, just like me, his cards start to slide down and then he gets a new card. He has, has two icons. And then the first thing he's gonna do is lucky him, he gets to flip. So he's gonna flip one of these, giving him three points. Okay, and after that, he's gonna move two spaces. So he always moves on the outside, one, two. And then now he wants to get a manuscript. Well, lucky him. Let's see, can he get a manuscript? Manuscript, the manuscript where he's at is three icons, three cross icons. Let's see if he made it. He's got one here and that's about it. I don't see any others. So because he cannot do that, because he has no ink, because the crosses, you use ink, obviously it's a manuscript. So if you have ink, then you can write the manuscript, but he doesn't have enough ink to do that. So we move to the next one. What does he want to do? He wants to do his preferred action. What is his preferred action? Well, we know is building. Can he build? And the answer to that is yes. If I look at his icons, he's got one, two, three build icons. So he is going to build. He's going to build the three structure because he only has one stone. So that's not enough to get into the next uh, most expensive, which is five. So again, from the left and he triggers that. And when he triggers this, he again wants to dismiss wherever he's at. So he's going to dismiss this guy and same deal. He gets that X, he doesn't like that X. So he actually just gains a virtue for it. This guy's out of the game for good. And then he wants to build on the leftmost side. So he's going to build here, giving him an ink. Just trigger after trigger after, tr after trigger and it's so easy. To miss some stuff in this game you really have to be careful you it's better if you try and follow but sometimes you know your your mind is going faster than 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 your hands okay so he did that there's no collision for him so he did one he did his main action so that's it that's it for him he's done we're gonna go back to my turn now what remember what i told you guys i was gonna do uh, i think i'm gonna do it i'm going to use my laborer and First, they all slide. Then I put my labor here. Oh, and Clovis gave me a, see, see, I'm telling you, there's so many things. Clovis gave me a higher action last turn. I could have hired somebody, but I don't want to go back. If I mess something up, if I notice it, I'll fix it, but I, I that's okay. I'm not going to do it anymore. I, I don't know who, I, some people might have gone, so I'm just going to leave it because uh, it is optional. So let's pretend I said I didn't want to because I'm feeling reckless. 
Um, but in any case, he doesn't have an ability now, so I have to move two. So that would put me one, two, right here. Sure, why not? And then I count my building icons. I have one, two. That's it. But I have a bunch of stones, so let's trade that in. Now I can go up to seven if I want to, and I think I want to. You'll see why. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All that stone gone. Put it back in the supply. Why did I pick seven? Seven gives you the biggest buildings, and as you may imagine, the more you pay, the more you get. And there is a specific building right there that gives you a building icon for the rest of the game. So if I want to get these buildings built, having that extra icon is, is really going to help me. So where do I want to put this? Well, I have two options. I could put it here or there. Actually, I don't have two options. I have one option because see the river? The river cuts right here. So unfortunately, I'm getting the option I didn't want because I really wanted to go here, but I can't. So I'll go here and get a gold. Ah, okay. So with that in mind, now that I have gold, maybe I want to start investing in the castle. I know that if I focus on building only, my build, I'm gonna build everything and then I will have nothing to do. So I kind of try to focus on two things. So castle and building it is for me, no manuscripts. Okay, let's see what Smeagol's gonna do. But before we do that, we've done our main action. I can hire, I can, ooh, I can hire that. I don't have any money yet. So I might start thinking of maybe, maybe getting some money so I can start hiring some of these cool guys. No collision, and then I go up to three again. I got my abbot. I'm not interested in my abbot. Let's see what Smeagol's gonna do. Smeagol first, everything slides, okay. And here it comes, okay. So there's his icons. The first thing he's gonna do is gonna gain a virtue. There he goes. And then he's gonna move three. Okay, one, two, three, there he goes. And he wants to go put people in the castle. Well, look at him, can he do that? Well, he's got one icon here, that's it. And this will give him two, the gold, cause for the uh, castle, you supplement it with gold. But two is not enough. He needs at least three to be able to put two of his workers in the castle. So we move on. Then he wants to try and do his preferred action, which is to build. He's a builder. So Smeagol Bob the Builder. How many icons does he have for building? He's got one, two, and he does have stone, so he can build again his cheapest one. So he'll put the stone back and he'll get another three. When he does, immediately he gets a virtue. Wow, he's very virtuous. And uh, he wants to put it as, as left as he can. Here's the river separating everything. So it's gonna go right over there. And he gets a deed immediately. So another unflipped one, we'll put it underneath. I'm gonna try and keep um, the ones that are not flipped underneath. But that's another point, guys. And still no collision, but he's getting closer to that. And um, that's it for him. He's done, he's done his action. So let's see what I get to do during my turn. Okay, everybody slides. Now when he slides, see the X right here for him to exit. He gives me, he lets me hire somebody for free and he gives me a virtue. First, let me get the virtue, and then who do I want to hire? Let's see. I want to hire... Um, I only... Oh, it's for free. So let me get an expensive one if I can. Uh, they're not... I could get the, the criminal, which will give me more flexibility, and he'll let me trash cards. I think I will. I'm going to get this guy. Now, when he comes... Uh, over to my discard pile, this thing triggers, and what this says is to shuffle everything up. Discard and deck. So I will shuffle my, what, five cards, shuffle all of that, and make a new deck. And that's good, because that means that he might come uh, back maybe next turn. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, so now everybody else slides. Clovis is still with me. Now what am I going to do? I know I want to start... Um, maybe using that gold and getting into that castle. I can also trade and try to get more gold. If I use her, I would move one, which is not great because that would leave me somewhere where I don't, I don't wanna be. If I use him, I will move two and um, I can start getting some gold. I know he's not gonna help me trade, but I've got enough trade icons. So I'm gonna go ahead and use him 
and he's down here ready to go he has no ability when he first comes in so let's move on to the next part of my turn i did not place a criminal so i don't worry about that then i get to move and again i move two so one two and then I can use him. If I pay three gold, I can dismiss him, but I don't have the money. So just stay right there, dude. No problem, Mr. Bishop. And then I'm going to trade because I'm going to try to get uh, gold so I can have a big turn and get a bunch of people in the castle. Um, I could also build... Uh, you know what? Hmm, this is interesting. I think I might change my mind. I think I might build. Um, I have one, two, three three icons, four, five, six, seven. I can even build another one of my seven. You know what? Let's do that. I'm going to build another seven. Put it that back. And I'm going to take this one because now I'm going to be good at the castle action, which I'm planning to do since my dude is standing right here next to me. And when I do that, uh, I only have one spot that I can place because the river is telling me that I can't go this way. But this is great. This is exactly the one I wanted. I get to trash a card. And like I told you guys, I'm not very interested in doing the monastery actions. So my abbot, he's dead to me. And when I trash him, I get $2. So not only am I getting rid of a cross that I don't want to use, but I'm also getting $2, which I am very short on. So he is out of the game for good. And I am rich, <laughs> not quite, but at least I have more money than when I started. Okay, and that's my action for having built. So I did my main action. Now I can hire, but the bishop and me, we're not friends. We, he does stuff that do not interest me, so I don't want to hire him. No collision yet. And then I go back up to three. Now I only have one, so I get two more. Let's see if I got my new guy. I did get my new guy. I got my racketeer and I got my thief and I got my lender. I'm ready to go for next turn. But before I do that, let's go ahead and do the AI. Let's see what Smeagol is up to this turn. So Smeagol, everything slides. That card is out. Okay. And then he gets a new card. Okay. Nothing here. The first thing he's going to do is get a resource of his choice. And he likes that stone. So stone it is. He's got one of each. He's going to move one. He's over here. Now he wants to build because Bob the Builder. Let's see. Can he do it? Yes, he can. He's got one, two, and a stone. He's got three. So he's going to build his last three-er. And when he does, he gets a little bit criminal. <clears throat> and he wants to put it on the leftmost spot, which is going to give him a flip. Now, the last thing he flipped was... Um, was a deed, but he doesn't have anything else, any debt to flip, so he's going to flip another deed. And that's two more points. <laughs> so, sneaky, sneaky, Smeagol. Okay, no collision, so we don't have to worry about that, but soon we're going to see a, a collision. A apparently he's going to collide before I do. And that's the end of his turn, so we'll go back to my turn, see what I'm up to. Okay, at the beginning of my turn, everybody slides, Clovis leaves me, and then I have to play another card. And I think I'm going to go for my thief because I want to get that debt before the debt collector or the racketeer comes into play. So there I am. I get to move one spot. And I think I'm going to try and start getting people in the castle. So I'm moving down south. I am right here. Now let's count my... Um, I, I could actually get this guy um, now that I have money. But he's not going to help me with my actions. So... I can only dismiss him if, it's, if he's going to help me with my actions, which he's not. Because my action is going to be to influence, to put influence on the castle. So, how many icons do I have? I have one from the building that I have already built. And then two, that's a wild, and three. And I could have four if I spend the gold, but I, I either need three or five. So, I'm going to go ahead and put two of my guys in the castle. And that's two points. Not enough to make a big deal out uh, here a uh, big commotion but hopefully it will happen and uh at the end of my turn i could hire the bishop but again manuscripts not not interested there are no there's no collision yet and then i go back up to three and now is the ai's turn let's see what he does everything slides down okay 
He gets a new card. Okay. Okay, the first thing he wants to do is he wants to dismiss the guy where he's at. So he's out and he gets a virtue and he likes virtue. So he is going to actually collide. There he goes. Now he moves three. One, two, and three. There he is. And this time he wants to build a manuscript. Can he do it? I think the answer is yes. Let's count his icons. He has one, two, and three with the ink. And three is what he needs to do that. So he does get his first manuscript, first manuscript acquired. And see that sign? That means that immediately he gets $4. Now he doesn't like money. <laughs> so when he gets $2, he actually flips and since he got four dollars he's gonna flip two things so he is a flipping machine now he only has one thing to flip so huh, there he goes too bad so sad now he's already got three red cards flipped as opposed to me he was gotten none so I need to keep that in mind and um, after he's done his main action we go to the collision he has collided and look at him he gets two more deeds ay 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 okay all right well I'm gonna put him down here because these are all flipped that way I know to flip from the bottom okay and um, that happens to him now this one is for all other players so that means me if I have no criminals um, actually if I have criminals in my tableau then I get to move my criminal activity one and I do have criminals I have a thief so I just got a little bit more criminal and then this resets He's back up to where he's supposed to be. Now we're back to me. The laborer, he goes away. Everybody moves. And ah, what do I want to do? I am going to use my, I'm going to use my racketeer. Uh, I want to go all criminal all the time. So he is going to be my guy. And um, because he is a criminal, I count how many icons I have. That's two. So there I go super criminal activity in my on my end and now I get to move two spaces now I'm thinking I have a lot of these things I have three I have four so I might want to put more people in that castle before my squire goes away uh, so let's do it let's move two spaces on the inside then one and two okay and now I can use this guy which he would give me yet another icon but I don't think I need him I might want to hire him, but I don't think I need him because if I count, I have one, two, three, four, and five with my gold. Um, and I would either need five or eight. So I, I'm going to keep him there and maybe hire him at the end of my turn. So with that in mind, I already counted that I have uh, five. So with five, I get to put three of my dudes in the castle. Whoops. One, two, and three. And they all come happily next to me. But when you have three people in the castle, stuff happens. Uh, one of my dudes, he gets to move up. And I get to either hire somebody for free or I get to trash a card. Now let's look at my cards. Do I want to trash any of these? I don't. These are trade cards. I'm okay with having those. It's not the end of the world to have these. I'm going to keep them. I think I'd rather hire and um, save me $2. How about that? So I will hire this guy for free. He goes into my um, discard pile but we get that effect immediately which means we are also going to have a collision so there's that okay and then these guys they don't like each other anymore so they're going to go and explore the castle on their own one moves one side the other one moves that the other side that's what the arrows are for and um, at the end of my turn i can hire this guy whoa he's got a lot of trading mr peddler i think i like all that trading I'm going to go ahead and hire him and spend two, two of my silver to get him into. And when I do, I get even more virtues, which is good because we're going to have a collision now. So um, the more virtues, uh, I guess, the better. You, you want to actually, I'm in right in the middle. You want to be either on one side or the other. In the middle, not the best place to be. But hey, that's what we got. So after that, after I've hired, then now we resolve the collision. We've collided here. That gives me $2. It also gives me a debt and a deed, which I'm very happy to get. Maybe not the debt. No, the debt too. Put down here and minus two points. I gotta make sure I flip that. And um, the um, AI, 
gets this part of the deal. So uh, Smeagol gets to rearrange everything, but he doesn't care about rearranging. So if you look at his reference card, when he gets when he gets to rearrange, instead of rearranging, he just gets um, he he just gets a, a resource of his choice. So my things get reset. Oh, wrong way. And of course, he wants a stone because that is the resource of his choice. Okay. And um, we go back up to three cards. Okay, I got my trader. Talk about that in a minute. And then AI turn. He's gonna go. Card gets out of here. He gets another card. What does he get? Okay, he gets his first criminal. And because he does, he uh, moves one on the criminal activity board. Now he gets a debt. Okay, there he goes. And he moves four spaces on the outside skirt. One, two, three, and four. There he goes. He wants to try and build. Can he do it? He's got one, two, three, but he needs five because his things that cost three are gone. So no. So instead, he'll just become more criminal and flip something. So column four of criminal. Does he have any? Okay, he's flipped one, two, three, and only one of these. So he's going to flip his debt. And he gets another stone for flipping his debt. And that's it for him. No collision. Go back to me. My squire leaves me. Everybody moves. Okay, so this lady's gonna let me move one, and she has an ability. When she leaves, this lady's gonna help me with trading, and she's gonna give me money now and discard a card, and this guy is gonna give me money, and it's gonna help me trade. Now, I know that no matter what I do, I'm gonna be trading this turn. So it's a matter of looking at the board and checking where I wanna go. So the choice is, if I want to continue building, I can just move, um, let's see, I will have to move one, two to get stone. None of these are twos, um, but I could use a coin to help me move. And if I want to continue castle growing, then I could go one, two, or yeah, that's about it. One, two. So either way, I want to use one of my ones. So with that in mind, I'll use my, um, be, I'm going to be spending money. So how about I use my guy that's going to give me back money. I'll use my trader. So he goes there and I move one and I'm going to, shall we get more gold? Or, let me, let's me let get this buildings done. Can we get the, um, no we can't. Yes we can. So one, and then I'll spend a dollar to get some, to stop there where the stone is. Okay, now, let's see. First of all, because I'm doing trade, he's gonna give me a dollar, so I get my dollar back. Thank you, trader. Now, I have one, two, three, four, five icons. And if I spend a dollar again, I will have six icons. So that's three stone. Okay, so there's that. Now, do I want to hire the scoundrel? It's going to give me ink. I don't know about the scoundrel. Um, she would let me discard something, but I'm happy with what I got. I want to do a few more, tr more trading actions and then start building. So I think I'm going to... I'm gonna skip her. And we check for collision. There's no collision. I go back up to three. All right, and then we go to the AI. Let us see what he's gonna do. He gets rid of that, moves, everything slides, gets a new card. He is going to dismiss the person where he's at, so bye-bye. And he gets more virtuous when he does. So there he goes. Did I, I put these backwards? Yes, I did. Ugh. Well, no takesy backsies. So we'll just leave them like that until they clash, I think. Well, no, let's just flip them for now. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So, okay. I might have messed up that a little bit. Sorry, guys. Uh, I don't know why I always want to put the, the white, the good guy here and the bad guy on the other side, but it's not like that. It's not however I want, however the game designed it. Anyways, he moves two spots. One, two, he's following me, and then he wants to put people in the castle. Okay, well, let's hope he can't. He's got one, two, yes, he can, three, so he's going to put two people in the castle. You're going to come visit me. At least it's only two, so nothing major happens. No collision, so he's done. Back to my turn. Okay. Uh, the thief is going to leave me, and when she does, she's going to 
give me some more debts and also eight dollars she stole something but she also accrued some debt maybe i don't know paying for that weapon that she used to steal the money who knows everything slides down and i am full of trade full 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 of people that want to trade but i can i have more flexibility now i can move one two or three so let's take a look at the board and see where i want to move i know the lender also when she leaves she's going to help me flip some stuff and i would not mind that one bit as long as my trader is here i'm happy to get these um, more icons because i'll give me more money so let's look at the board uh, i can get gold money or ink i think i'm happy with gold so let's use my let's use my lender so win-win I, I get the two icons i only move one and i will get to flip something when she leaves so there she goes um now i move one right here i can dismiss her for a dollar to give me one more icon let's see if i need to i have two three four five six i don't need to with six i will be getting uh two gold th three gold okay three gold it is for me and then do i want to hire her for a dollar i already said her no to her once i want to continue to say no to her there is uh, no collision i go back up to three but see my deck is empty so i have to shuffle whenever you shuffle and um where is my i don't have my reference card let me see if i can find one real quick yes right here whenever you shuffle if you have uh criminals you move one up on the criminal activity so there I am so I'm shuffling because I need one more card and I need to start uh, getting back on the building business I've kind of left that behind and um, we need to start moving towards that again okay but um, that's the end of my turn we go to Smeagol that gets discarded okay one more card okay another criminal so he moves on the criminal and now he wants to um, hire someone. Remember, when he hires someone, he just trashes it. So scoundrel's going away. And when she does, she gives him that X, which again, he doesn't care about. He's just going to get more virtue. He moves one right behind me. And he wants to build. Can he build? He has one, two. That's it, two, three, four. So he still can't build because he needs five. So then he's going to get a deed, which means the game is closer to ending. And he's going to flip a debt. So, but unfortunately, he has no, no debts to flip. So, sorry, dude. Let's see. If he can't flip a debt. No. Okay. If he can't flip a debt, then he will go ahead and get a virtue. So virtue time means that there's a collision at the end of his turn which happens now he gets another stone his favorite resource and uh he also gets another deed okay there it goes another point <laughs> and uh for us if we have criminals which we do we move one on the criminal activity now let me set this right these are the criminals that's the virtue just match the colors annabelle it's not that hard okay so that's the end of his turn and now we go back to me my racketeer is gone move everybody down let's pick another card oh i got my builder back but now i have no more icons i would have one two three four five i can still build, build a fiver i would move to one two huh. not super special but let's do it let's put my builder out here and let's move first yeah let's move no criminals so let's move to one two okay and then i can hire her or dismiss her for two silver uh one two three four five i don't think i want to spend my gold on that so i'll just use my five icons one from here one from here three from there and build my first five oh no my second fiver okay so my options are if I go here, I can move an extra space for free every turn. And if I go here, I can dismiss people for $1. I think I like that discount. So I'll go ahead and use that discount. Now, do I want to flip or do I want to trash? I want to flip. I am behind on the flipping. And I have debts accumulated, minus two points. I have to flip one of those. So let me flip one and I get a resource. 
What resource do I want? Oh. Let's see. I'm going to be trading. So and my builder is here. I'm going to get a stone. See if I can continue to build during the next few turns since my builder is here. So that's that. Now I can hire her for $2. Yeah, I don't mind her. I, I kind of like uh, the idea that she's a wild and she's going to give me these stuff. <laughs> so let's do that. So I get more criminal activity, no problem, thanks to the meddler. And then after that, we check for a uh, clash. There's no clash. And I go back up to three. There I go. Okay, let's go for the AI. Everything slides. Now he has no cards, so he has to shuffle. Okay. All right. And this card is, he's going to get a virtue. He's going to move three. One, two, three. Okay. He's with me. Now, when he comes with me in a regular, if, if I was playing with another player, then I would have the chance to rearrange everything. But uh, when I'm playing solo, everybody has a chance to rearrange everything. So I'll rearrange mine. Uh, I want to keep this guy, but I would like to keep the trader a bit longer and I would like the lender to leave. I'm sorry, lady, I don't have anything against you, but you're going to give me a flip and I want to flip. So that's that. And then him, he would get the rearrange, but he doesn't care about rearranging. So if we look at the rearranging, then what he gets is another resource, which of course is going to be stone because he likes to have six stones on him at all times. Okay, so that'll happen because um, he moved next to me. And then he wants to put people in the castle. Can he do it? He has one, two, that's it. So no, he cannot do it. He needs at least three. So then he wants to build. I think he can build. Let's check it out. He has one, two, three, four, five. He made it to five. And so yeah, he will build that. As soon as he reveals that. So when he reveals that now, whenever he has a, a collision, if he has no criminals, he gets to flip a debt. Uh, but he's not, he doesn't have a collision. That only happens when he has a collision. That's why it's purple like that. Now this building he wants to put, well, he can only put it here. Well, actually no leftmost spot. So he wants to go on the leftmost spot. So that will be here. So he wants to, um, actually with this, this is the first time we've seen this. Finally, he wants to put one of his future schemes, uh, added to his deck. So we put that over there and now that we've done that, we have created a link. We see this little sign in the middle. So both players actually get a virtue. So he gets more virtues and I get more virtues. Thank you for that, Mr. Smeagol. And we check for collision, no collision. So that's it for him. Let's go to me. The lender is leaving me. Okay. Do I want to flip my last debt let's do it let's flip my last debt thank you i get a resource of my choice uh i want to build so let me get a stone so i want to try and build 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 everybody else slides down do i have anything to help me build i don't <laughs> um let's see let's use my journeyman he's gonna let me hire somebody for free later okay so i get to move two I have one, two, yeah, I think I can, can I build? Yes, I can. Okay, so let's move two on the outside. One, two, perfect. And now my main action, I can I can get this guy on my side, but I don't want him. He, he has, he's no help. And now my main action is gonna be to build. I got one, two, two icons, and I'll add a stone to make it a three. And I can build one of my threes. Let's see. Um, I guess I'll increase my hand size, give me more flexibility. So I'm going to go ahead and put him there. I'll get a gold, which I'm planning on doing soon, that gold uh, or castle action. And again, I've created a link, so I get a debt. Didn't I just pay a debt? Okay, well, another debt. Okay, and uh, after that, I can hire the bishop, but I don't want him. And then now I go back up to four, which is going to let me go through my deck a little faster, which is great. And also when I get the trash cards, like get them, remove them from the game, I'm going to have more choices. So that's great. I can think my deck a little faster. So that's it for me. AI, everything slides down. Here he goes. He wants to dismiss the person where he's at. So bye-bye Deacon. 
he gets a virtue for that. So off he goes. And um, then he wants to move three. One, two, three. Okay, one ahead of me. And now he wants to maybe get a manuscript. Can he get a manuscript? He's got one, two, three. So how much is it? Yes, he can. That's a three uh, icon manuscript. So immediately he is going to uh, hire, not hire, he's going to get another one of these cards. He's going to get a, we would hire somebody for free. He just wants more of these future scheme cards. That's what they're called. Okay, so that was his uh, main turn. There's no collision, so back to me. This trader leaves me, but my builder is still here. I might want to take advantage of that. And Clovis is here, guys. My Super Clovis, which I think... Oh, I want to take advantage of my builder. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I wish I had one more stone. If I had one more stone, I would be so happy. Uh, I guess we can, let's see. Clovis will let me move three. One, two, three. Yeah, there's spots here. There's still space. Sure, let's do Clovis. Off we go. First, he lets me hire somebody for free. Who do I want? Well, this guy gives me stone. He's expensive. So we'll take him. Okay. And when I do, I get a little bit more criminal. So off he goes. He goes on my discard pile. And um, that was Clovis' ability. Now uh, I do have criminals. So boom. We move one, then I get to move three. Let's see, one, two, three. I can end up here, which give me another free hire, or I could end up here. Yeah, let's go here. One, two, three. Okay, now let's uh, do my building. One, two, three, and that's where I'm going to end because I don't, I can't get to five. So another three here. Let's see. Um, I can discard one of my cards right now. Uh, let's do that. Let's get rid of her. Sorry, fine answer. And I'm going to actually make us a little bit more. I know I want to make me more virtuous right now. No, I'd like to make me more criminal, not virtuous. So do we want an ink? We don't really want an ink. Either way, I'm going to get that virtue, aren't I? Okay, fine. We'll take the virtue, but we'll take it here. I don't want to give him anything so we become more virtuous no links so at the end of the turn I can hire for one the illusionist I would get to rearrange this and keep my builder around do I want to keep my builder around a little longer I wish I had more stone <laughs> so but I do want to keep my builder around so actually I'm gonna let my journeyman go and Clovis is a wild, so we'll leave Clovis there. Okay. All right. Uh, so I did hire him. Did I pay for him? Uh, I hope I did. I don't think I did. So I'll pay for him now. Okay. Um, I didn't even take him into my discard pile. There he goes. Now he's here. Illusionist. Okay. He was an illusion. I didn't see him, but now, now he's here. Okay. So that was that. That's how I rearranged everything. After my hire, we check for a collision. There is a collision. So I get $2.00. I also get another debt. This illusionist brought a debt with him. And then for them, if there are no criminals, they get more pure, more virtuous. But there, he has a criminal. So sorry, dude. And then let's put this in the right place this time. There we go. And um, now we just go back up to four, not three, remember? So there's that. My deck is empty. We'll go to the AI. Okay, let's see what the AI is going to do. Everything slides. His criminal goes away, too little, too late, and he gets a new card. He gets a resource of his choice. Good, because he has no resources right now to his name. So there's a stone for you, mister. And then he moves one, almost next to me again, but not quite. And um, he wants to build. Can he build? He has one, one build icon and one stone. So no, sir. And his preferred action, that would be the second thing he'd try to do, but it's building, so we already know that he can't build. So then he gets another debt, and he flips a deed. Okay, so there he is, flipped a deed. That's two more points, and no collision, so back to me. Everything slides, my journeyman, as he exits, lets me hire somebody for free and get a virtue. Do I want to hire any of these people right here? 
sure. I mean, he's kind of cheap, but um, but that uh, that pickpocket ability, I, I I like that. I know it's cheap. I'm looking at that jeweler also. Here's a guy who helps me with the castle and gives me. Okay, I'll take him because he's expensive. I'll take the patron. <laughs> Uh, all right, and when I do, I can get rid of one of my cards. All right, I kind of want to do the the um, castle action in my next few turns, and this guy is super good for trading, uh, but I have a lot of resources. You know what? I'm sorry, dude. You'll come back to me. We'll just uh, do it like that, and I'll just keep, keep these three. Now, uh, everybody else... It's going to slide down and I have to play one of these cards. And like I said, I want to start using that castle action. So I'm going to put him down, but I'm not going to do the castle action now. I'm going to try and build my last building if I can. So he comes down here and he has an ongoing ability. So anytime I do the castle uh, action, I get a virtue. Like I said, I'm, I think I'm not going to do that now. I get to move two. So let's see. Um, if I move here, I can build and get a stone. If I move over here, I can rearrange my, my things. And I think right now, so that I can keep my builder a little longer, although Clovis, Clovis is here, so no big deal. Stone was, would be good, and I will get a virtue, but so would he. All right, fine, we'll just go with that. So one, two, I just want that stone so I can build next turn. Actually, I'm gonna build this turn. Okay, but I can, okay. Let's see, how many icons do I have? I have one, two, three, which is enough to at least um, build that, which is four points at the end of the game. So yes, we'll build that, we'll get a stone, we'll give everyone a virtue, okay? And um, do I want to hire the pickpocket? I kind of wanted him before, so why not? Let's just take him. Okay, and then he lets me, discard another card. I know I want to do castles. Do I want to discard my thief? Uh, sure, let's, yeah, let's discard my thief. Maybe I'll get something better. I might even get him back. So that was uh, me hiring, and then we check for collision, no collision, and then I go back up to four. I have to shuffle, and because there is a Clovis on my board, I get uh, criminal activity. Uh, so I move one over to the middle of the mat. And then, I'm gonna give me three. Okay, let's go back to the AI. Disc is out, discard it, move everything. Here's a new card, okay. He gets to flip again, okay. He's flipped two of these, he's flipped, okay. So he's flipping a debt, so he's also getting a resource, which would be a stone. Then he moves two, one, two, and he's with me. So again, we get to rearrange everything. But again, I'm happy with the way things are here. I don't, um, I'm gonna be building, yeah. Do I wanna keep Clovis around? Yeah, let's keep Clovis around a little bit longer. Oh, well, yeah, let's see how that goes. And then him, he doesn't care about rearranging, he just gets another stone. So there's a stone for him. And now what does he want to do? He wants to get a manuscript. Can he get a manuscript? It's only three. He has one, two, only two. Almost made it, but didn't. So he wants them to build. Can he build? He's got one, two, three, four, five. Yes, he can. He can build his last, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I feel the beat down. And he, um, he wants to dismiss whoever's here. So the swindler is gone. He gets more criminal activity for doing that. And, um, oh, he can't, oh, you know what, guys? He can't build because it's all occupied. So, okay, fine, we'll go back. Go back, come back, swindler. All right, how many icons did he have? One, two, so he spent three stone. Ah, uh, forgot to look at that. All right, so he will get another deed and he will flip a debt, but he can't flip a debt. So when he can't flip a debt, then he gets rich. Okay, and that's it for him. Now me, he goes bye-bye. There's my castle dude. These are my cards I have. 
I know I want to start doing castle before he leaves. I have a ton of gold, so I know I have two buildings left, but I can build those later. I have a lot of criminals, so they can help me with building later on. So let's go ahead and use him. Okay, he has no ability when he comes in, but I'll be moving two on the board. Let's see where that leads me. So I'll go one, two, and I'm glad that I already have a guy there. Now let's see how many icons I have. One, two, actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I made it to eight. Okay, that's four dudes. Perfect. And they all come right here with my other dude. So that'll be five dudes here. I'm gonna place them all so we can go nice and slow. So one of them is gonna go up and I will be very virtuous for that. And then these guys, they don't like each other anymore. So they'll just leave like that. And I check to see if there's any more uh, of three of my guys together, but there aren't. If I check then if there's four of any, of any color at one point, there are three, not four. So that's it with the castle. After that, I can hire the scoundrel, but I don't want ink. So that's that, no collision. I go back up to four, I'm at three. So there's another one. Okay, Smeagol says, my turn, move, move, move. Okay, uh, he's gonna dismiss the, again, the swindler, okay. And he gets criminal activity for that. Okay, so there's a collision happening it's later in his turn. Now he moves four, one, two, three, four. And he wants to build, ay, 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 mister. Okay, he has one, two, three, four, five. He only needs three. <laughs> okay, can he build there? Yes, he can. So one, two, three, he doesn't even need the stone. Goes here and he could trash a card, but of course he doesn't care about trashing cards. So instead he'll just flip. And I think he doesn't have any more debts to flip. So he'll flip a, um, well, no, not this one. He'll flip that, the D. Okay, so he's flipped. And then because he's created two links. So one, he gets ink for that. And so do I, because I have my guy over here. And two, he gets that, but he's, he will move one of his guys, but he doesn't care about moving the guys. So he'll just get more virtues. Oh gosh, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, well, you'll, you'll see that in a minute. So that's, that's it, that's all the links. And now we check for a collision. First, during the collision, if he has no criminals, which he doesn't, he can flip something. He'll uh, actually a deed, a debt, but he doesn't have any debt. So when he doesn't have any debt to flip, he'll get more virtuous, but he can't. He's already at max. So he gets three deeds. That might trigger the end of the game. It does. There's only two. So we reveal this. We are going to be very virtuous. He gets a third one. So there he goes. He gets three of those, plus he gets um uh go a uh, stone gets a stone okay that's it and that's his turn that he did that and uh he doesn't refill so now it's me now i'm worried because <laughs> when he triggered the end of the game we uh we finished the round he's he was the last player on the round so this round is finished we play one more round and then the game ends so that means this is my last turn I'm gonna have one last turn, he's gonna have one last turn, and then we're gonna count. Um, I know that we are going to be checking for who has the most flipped debts, and I only flipped three, and let's see how many he's flipped. I'm hoping three, come on. Yes, three. So, if I can get a debt and flip a debt now, I'd be winning, and that would be, I mean, I'd, I'd, be, I'd have the most, and that would be really, really cool. So there's one thing that I'm, I need to look at and then uh, the other thing I need to look at is if I could finish building this I could get a ton of points I mean I will go from getting 13 points to getting 21 points at the end of the game but I need seven and I am at two I have no building icons Whew. okay guys this is it last turn what do I have okay I have one criminal another criminal so that only increase me for one um, this guy ongoing, whenever I get a debt, I can trash, but I don't care about that. How about this guy? Oh, he will give me, yes, yes, lady. We like you. What are you, a meddler? Sure, okay. I think I'm gonna go with her. Let's 
Oh, but this is when she leaves and she's not leaving for a while. Okay, what do you give me? You give me nothing good right now. Okay, guys, you're all worthless. <laughs> you're all fired, <laughs> but I gotta use one of them. So we'll go with her. First of all, my castle dreams are over. No more castle for me. Everybody gets sli slides down and then she's here. Okay, now it's a criminal. So I have two icons. So one, two, everything moves together when once they're um, stacked on top of each other. And then I have to move two. Let's go to the board. All right, so I'm gonna move two. One, and I gotta go up. I don't care. He, we, we get to reshuffle everything, but it's the last turn, so I don't care. He, on the other hand, he'll, he'll get a, a resource, which is another point for him. So even at the end of the turn, he's, he's getting points from me. Okay, but I have... Oh, I can't build there. No, 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 never mind. I don't want to give you that then. Let's see. Instead... Oh, shoot, I have no money. Come back, come back, come back. One, two. Let's see. Um, one... Two. Oh gosh, everything is built. Yeah, we've been doing good with the buildings. Okay, so guys, my plan was to build, but look at all this. Like half the board is already covered. I have nowhere to go. So instead I'm gonna have to try and make some points in the castle. Now, I would like to get to here so that I can flip things because if I can flip debts, I could be winning in that. So since I only moved two, that's kind of perfect. One and two, I'll be right there. Perfect, okay. Now, uh, let's count those icons. I have one here, two, three, four. So I have no gold to supplement, so I will have to stop at just three and put two dudes there. But I think that's okay, I think it's enough. So two dudes go here, one comes up, and two go sideways and the one that goes up lets me flip so i will flip my debt at least i'm not losing those two points i get a resource i don't really care much about resources i gotta get a gold doesn't matter um nowhere else anything does anything happen so that's that's my turn now at uh, i could hire him but we're at the end of the game, I don't want to hire him. We do have a collision, which now will give me $2. A little too late to the party, Mr. $2. But I do get another debt and another deed. So another point. Well, actually, I get a point and then I lose two points. So game, why are you doing this to me? Okay, let's just put it down there. And um, um, he gets to reshuffle, but he doesn't care about reshuffling. Instead, he gets more... Uh, what does he get? He gets another resource, another point. Oh, come on, game. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, it is what it is. This thing should be not here. There we go. Okay, last turn for him. Actually, last turn of the game. And last card. It's a criminal, so he gets some criminal activity. He also gets, of course, a debt. There you go, half minus two points. He moves four. One, two, three, four. And then he wants to build. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, game, game, game. Okay, all right. He builds the leftmost one, which makes him a better builder, but the game's over. He wants to go on the leftmost, so he will get another one of his cards, which he's not gonna use. And that's it, that's the end of the game. There's no collision for him, so now we're gonna go to scoring. Bear with me, I'm going to explain everything as we go. Okay, so let's start the scoring process. First thing we're gonna count are the constructed buildings. So he's constructed one out of the three buildings here, that's six points. He's constructed all of these, that's plus 15. He's constructed all of these, that's plus nine. Okay, for me, I have here, I built two of them, so nine points. Here, two of them, that's 13 points and nine points. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna count the points in the castle. We get one point for every person we have in the castle according to where they're at. So let's do him first. He has two points because they're in the first tier, easy. So he's at 32. Me, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points on the first tier then two for six points on the second tier, 
and no points on the third tier. So definitely I have an advantage there. So right now we're looking at, so as we stand, I am looking at 45 points, he's at 32. Then we go to manuscripts. I have nothing for manuscripts, so he's got the advantage there. Now, um, he has, these do not score points at the end of the game, but he has two sets of one point each, so he has two points on manuscripts. He didn't do that great with manuscripts either. And then if we had gotten any bonus cards, we will score those now, but um, neither one of us did good with that. We didn't get any cleric bonus cards. We didn't get any bonus cards for being up here in the castle. I tried, but it, there's just so much to do in this game. So no points there. Then we're going to uh, go ahead and count the points for our deeds and our debts. So for him, he loses two points because he has one on debt paid. On one debt unpaid, <laughs> okay, and then he has 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 points in deeds, okay, and me, I lost four points, and I have three points in deeds, so definitely he has a big advantage there. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna resolve the, um, what is this, virtuous card, productivity card, I think it's called. Whoever has the most flipped um, debts is going to score 12. And in a solo game, and also in a two-player game, we, we skip the number in the middle. So one of us is gonna get 12 points, the other one is gonna get four points. So let's count how many debts he's flipped. He has flipped one, two, three debts. And how many have I flipped? I have flipped one, two, three, four debts. So I get 12 points and he gets four points. And with that, we have reached a grand total. And the game was super close, but he's at 57 and I'm at 59, which means that I won by two points. Just two points, but enough to be victorious and be the winner in the Viscounts of the West Kingdom. Well guys, there you have it. That was a full run through of a solo playthrough of Viscounts of the West Kingdom. Wow, I didn't think I was gonna make it. That was a very close one, but I was victorious. I was the winner. I was the best Viscount of the whole West Kingdom. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, Give us a thumbs up, it really does help. Also, make sure you're following us on Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to the channel so you know when we play more fun stuff. Until then, may you play more games.